But all I can say is that I'm basically Mary Berry, so... Hey everyone, it's Shannon and welcome back to my channel. Now for today's video, we're going to be doing a little bake with me. Um, but, of course, tipsy edition because I have absolutely been loving making these strawberry daiquiris at the moment. So, I thought I'd have one whilst baking. And today, I'm going to be making some Millie's cookies. And I've been seeing loads of people have been making like McDonald's at home, KFC at home. I'm going to be honest, I can't cook for anything. So, I thought I would just keep it simple and make some cookies and obviously i'm sure if you live in the uk and haven't been living under a rock then you'll know that millie's cookies are like the best cookies going so i thought i'd bake them considering they're like the easiest thing to bake so for a little amateur me that would be perfect if you like this video then please make sure to smash thumbs up button and subscribe down below but yeah let's just get baking i guess so my mum bakes these cookies all the time and they are the best things ever however they are so so moorish I'm not joking, my mum will make them and they're literally gone the next day, they taste that good. Um, but this is just a BBC food recipe, it does say it's meant to be a Millie's Cookies recipe. So I will definitely link it down below for you guys in case you wanted to make these. Like I say, these are actually so so simple to make and I love them. So first up is to preheat the oven at 180 degrees, so I've already done that. And then I'm going to cream the butter and the sugar. So you need 125 grams of butter, so I'm going to do that now. So I don't know if we actually have 125 grams left in this, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to get enough out of it. So I'm just going to pour this in here. So I'm just going to put this into this mixing bowl here. It was honestly awful. I should have done the sugar first. Then you need 100 grams of soft brown sugar. Okay, if I can actually get into the bag, then this would be great. Just have a little drink break. These are honestly the best things I think I've ever made during isolation. Honestly, I put so much rum in this. Oh my god. Okay. And then we need 125 grams of cast sugar. I actually put all the sugar into this. I just think, oh my god, how unhealthy are they? But I'm telling you, when you are, when you have one, there is just no going back. I feel like if you don't know what a Millie's cookie is, the best way I can kind of just compare it to is like a really nice Subway cookie. Like Subway cookies are paying, but I feel like. Amelie's cookie is like an elite cookie. Like when you charge £1.20 for a cookie, you know it's elite. And you've just got to mix it all together. Now we don't actually have an electric whisk, so I'm going to do it with an old fashioned wooden spoon. It's like the tiniest wooden spoon you've ever seen. Uh, get my muscles into this. Okay, so we are slowly getting there. Just looks like this. Okay, so yeah, when it's done, it looks something like this. I love how I'm trying to do this like I'm a pro baker. I honestly, this is the first thing I've probably ever baked in ages. I used to love baking cakes with my nan, but my nan's just so good at them. There's just no point even trying to compare myself, but I just don't bake or cook. It's so bad. I'm nearly 20 and the best thing I can cook is like pasta. Next up, I'm going to do the flour and you need 225 grams of self-raising flour. It says to sift the flour. My mum said that she doesn't sift the flour. However, I'm going to, my cookies are going to be better than hers are going to be and the flour is going to be sift. So I'm just going to do that now. The last time I used a sift was when I was doing baking at school. <laughs> Done it wrong already. Right, so... This just proves that I cannot bake because I've already, I've already, I've sifted the flour before I've even added the egg in. So before you sift the flour in, make sure to add the egg and vanilla extract because I've just forgotten to do that, which is so great. Um, I'm just gonna, just gonna do it now. Okay, so you need one egg, and I honestly hate cracking eggs. You need a teaspoon of vanilla extract. However, you also need a teaspoon of salt. So I'm going to do the salt first just because I can use the same spoon. Um, so yeah. I feel like this has kind of turned into, you know, one of the like all-in-one cake mixes. It's now an all-in-one cookie mix. I can't believe I've done that wrong, but at the same time I kind of can believe that I've done that wrong because it's such a typical me thing to do. Okay, now this is getting a bit really... I can't believe it. Okay, so... 
Okay, so this is what the dough is looking like. So now we're gonna add the chocolate chips. I was gonna just do white chocolate chips, but I've got these Smarties eggs. So we're gonna do half Smarties and half white chocolate. I'm just gonna add like half of the mix into this little bowl here. And these eggs have actually just got little Smarties in. So I'm gonna crack open the egg. Okay, so the Smarties are in. I'm just gonna add these white chocolate chips to this mixture and just have a little drink break. So it says to add baking paper to the trays. Now this makes 24, however, mum said that when these bake in the oven, they actually spread quite a bit. So you only really want like six per tray. So I'm gonna bake this in like two hits, um, but we don't have any baking paper. So I'm just gonna do some little old fashioned butter with the leftover butter that I'm gonna scrape out of here. And then it says to do them in walnut-sized balls. And put I don't know why that's funny. <laughs> right, so anyway, we're gonna just divide these into whatever you wanna call it. This is the current situation. Okay, I'm gonna try and use a spoon because that was awful. So this is one tray and then I'm gonna do another tray of the Smarties ones. Okay, so my math skills weren't that great because we've only actually got six Smarties ones. Um, <laughs> that's okay, I guess. But all I can say is that I'm basically Mary Berry, so. So I'm gonna put these in the oven for seven minutes and my mum said it is so, so, so important that you do put them in for seven minutes because these can like burn just like that. Um, but I don't know if, I, I think I said at the beginning it's 180 degrees or gas mark four. So I'm gonna put these in the oven now. Would be rude not to. <laughs> So it's been seven minutes now, um, so now's moment of truth. <gasps> I, just fully, I just have fully attacked one, as you can see. Um, but yeah. And this is the other tray. As you can see, they spread a lot. They cook when they come out of the oven like a bit more and they all like crack and really flatten out so they look like proper Millie's cookies. So I'm just going to leave these to set for a bit before I put the other ones in. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the other ones in and then I'll come back when they are all finished. So with a slight bit of assistance, the cookies are off of the trays. And now I'm going to do the second batch and put the second batch in. These look so yummy. You know what they say, go hard or go home. I'm not joking, I can't remember what time I put them in. I'm not joking, I've literally... Okay, well, this is what I mean by seven minutes, because I've just burnt them. Okay, everyone, so this is the finished batch. These look amazing, I know, not gonna lie. The last set i done were actually a bit burnt, because I forgot about them, but it doesn't matter now. I was going to do like a little taste test of a like basically all the cookies have broken so I'm just going to do a taste test of this broken cookie for you. That was so good. Mm. But anyway I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do then make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. I don't even know why I'm laughing.